welcome to Lone Star, where I review movies because chimpanzees are taking over the world. So yesterday I watched the film Rise of the Planet of the Apes. The thing about this film is it wasn't about apes taking over the world, unless you count that last um, quarter of the film. It was more about a super smart chimpanzee named Caesar. So let's go through the positives and the negatives. The director Rupert White made a smart decision in making this movie based on the character of Caesar. He is the real star of the film, even if he has very little dialogue. This contrasts to a movie like, say, Transformers. Now that movie should be about giant robots fighting it out, but is more based on useless human characters and Megan Fox. The thing is, I believe that the CGI apes did a better job at acting in this film than the human actors. The best thing about these apes is the realism, even if they're animated by computer. As opposed to the shitstorm I saw in Mega Shark vs Giant Octopus. Also, the apes don't talk. In this, we understand the character's feelings through grunts and body language, which is much better in my opinion. These apes were so well animated, we could see their personalities and feelings from their eyes. This is much better than humans dressed in an ape costume. One thing I enjoyed was, no matter how aggressive Caesar was, we always knew why, and there were good reasons. If only he could ride a bike like a little boy. And when Caesar talked, it wasn't voiced by some overrated Hollywood actor. There were a lot of scenes that I loved in this movie. One was when Caesar was only three years old, and in his home, he had his own climbing setup. Awesome! Not to mention the scene where Caesar swings around in the redwoods, and it reminds the audience of Tarzan. This movie makes me cautious about someone ever actually finding the cure for Alzheimer's. Who knows? Apes might actually rebel humanity. O-Face. The plot in this movie combined well with the character analysis. The plot was down to earth and realistically dark. Unlike some other films, the main plot is pretty much the focus for most of the movie, and we fully understand why Caesar is mad bro. Especially after a now typecast bad guy Tom Felton trolled him and the other apes. To add negatively though, I found the human actors average and one-dimensional. We have your money-hungry boss, your concerned scientists, your silly old men, and we have your asshole animal abusers. I thought James Franco was rather average in this movie. Heck, at one point his character was going to be played by Tobey Maguire. And then we could have had Spider-Man versus the Intelligent Apes. Not to mention the useless role Frida Pinto plays as Jane Franco's girlfriend. At one point in the apes action scene, the two lovers made a romantic kiss. In a film about apes! I wanted the director to give a more powerful social reaction for the film on its political issues. They're hiding the impact this film could make in regards to human created viruses. Plus the idea that apes will intelligently plot revenge and kill their tormentors. So anyway, thanks for watching me review this movie. I was more interested in being a pessimistic loser. So comment down below telling me your opinion of this film. And I'll see you next time. Before you go, must I add that this movie was very realistic, and we were the good guys! Thank goodness! And I should have been the star of the film. Thank you very much, Random Chimpanzee, played by um, the guy who played King Kong.